Broadcasting from the basement of La Penta, it's WICR. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the Sports Vault. Jersey Joe Archino back here. And there's not a lot of things in sports that are sadder than seeing talent being wasted. But unfortunately, in the NBA, this is something that we've just become way too accustomed to seeing. DeMarcus Cousins, yet another one of those examples. And, you know, we've all kind of seen what has happened with the Sacramento Kings. You know, there's a lot of times in the NBA where owners just the reality of the situation is just never hitting them in the face. Um, and, and this is certainly another one of those cases. I think that they kind of looked at the team a, as a group and they thought maybe they had a chance to do something. But, you know, this this is a team that never had any chance to do anything. DeMarcus Cousins is a tremendous player. But as a team, this team had never had a chance, I mean, to do anything significant. And it's it's hard to build in the NBA. And just, just look at the Sacramento Kings. I mean, DeMarcus Cousins, in his time there— the Kings haven't won 30 games since he's been there in 2010. Since his 2010 season, the most wins that they've collected in one season have been 29, have not broken the 30-game barrier during that streak. And they, collectively during his time there, the Kings are 152 and 293. Now, DeMarcus Cousins is as good as it gets in a league today where the big man doesn't impact or influence the game the way that they used to. The game is really played now for away from the away from the basket more than it ever has been before winning away from the basket is how you win titles in this league today that's just the way it is i mean you need a presence around the basket but you don't dominate the game at the basket it is dominated away from the basket today but DeMarcus Cousins, I mean, he, the numbers he has put up are just jaw-dropping. I mean, you look at this season. He's averaging 27.1 points per game. That's fourth in the league. He's averaging 11.2 rebounds per game. That's fourth in the league. And he's got a player efficiency rating of 23.60. He's got he's he's over he's he's scoring more than LeBron James is this year. I mean, LeBron is fifth in scoring this season. But that just kind of goes to show you, you know, the the big man position is just not what it used to be. But with DeMarcus Cousins' case, you know, you it's really one of those things where you wish the Kings would just trade him because, again, it is so, so sad to see such tremendous talent being wasted on a team like this. You know, the, the Kings apparently met today, and it seemed like all the writing was on the walls that they were going to, to fire George Carl. That has not happened, and I don't blame it on George Carl. You know, this is just an organization that is just has lacked winning or being in the playoffs or doing anything relevant in such a long time, and it's just another one that that kind of streak has just continued on and on. But back to the point of, you know, players, transcendent players, really their talent being wasted. LeBron James is the ultimate example of that, folks. I mean, you look at LeBron's first go-around in Cleveland. He left because his talent was being wasted majorly. The organization did not surround him with the right pieces. The organization did not surround him with the right coaching. They didn't surround him with anything. When he took them to the NBA Finals, that literally was every single— I mean, I don't think you'll ever see— another player take a roster that bad to the NBA Finals. Like Allen Iverson against the Lakers and LeBron James Cavs against the Spurs are the two worst rosters in NBA Finals history ever to get there. But they were but the LeBron team that got swept by the Cavs, it was a one man show in every conceivable way. It was all him and, and that's why I don't fault him for leaving Cleveland because if you were in a situation where you weren't being surrounded with adequate talent and you weren't being surrounded with proper coaching and you were so good and you could just tell that my talent my time here is limited and my talents being wasted you would leave and I think that's where DeMarcus Cousins is also kind of feeling the same way I was listening to an interview the other day with him and Rick, Rick Buecher and he kind of said the exact same words we're all thinking is that my time is running out and I, I you know when you hear a player like that say that that really tells you all you really need to know he has said vocally, my time is running out to do anything significant in this league. He, again, like I said before, never made the playoffs, has never won 30 games in a season. He has never done anything significant, and he knows that if he stays in the position he's in, he will never do anything significant. I mean, the Kings, it might take them another five years to win 30 games. I mean, I really think you look at this team, and they're in a position where this is what they are. 
they're not going to be much better than this. This is what they are unless they really just are extremely awful and get a, an Andrew Wiggins type player and they start the turnaround. And again, it's not just the one player, you know, today, unless you get like that LeBron James. It's getting an Andrew Wiggins, then being terrible again the next year and getting another player, and then being terrible again after that and getting another. It takes a long time of being bad in this league before you can be great unless you're an organization that is able to bring in and pu- and pull in good free agents. That's the way the NBA works. If you're not the Bulls, if you're not the Cavs, if you're not the Lakers or the Heat, you have to rely on drafting and being bad in order to draft these great players. And that's exactly where the Sacramento Kings kind of lie. But back to DeMarcus Cousins, you know, it's just one of those situations that you look at it as a whole body of work. And again, there's just nothing but sympathy for the player because early in his career, you know, he did have problems. He did. There's no question, you know, his, his frustrations on the court, his the amount of technical fouls that he wrapped up were a major problem. But he, he, he really did work hard to correct those. And he is, to me, the most dominant big man in the game today. In a game that's really not played at the basket, there's not another player who really dominates the game there like he does. I mean, He's the leading scorer for single-point game this season with 56. With Stephen Curry and everything that he's done this season, not even he has broken the 56-point barrier this season. And, and, and that's a center who's got a limited game away from the basket. That just goes to show you once again how talented this guy is and how his talent just continues to be wasted with the Sacramento Kings. You know, there's always talks of them trading him uh, a lot. Even now, it will always heat up. And I don't know if it, when it will happen, if it will happen. But all I know is the words that he said in the Rick Buecher interview, you know, my time is running out. He said it twice. He didn't say it once. He said it twice. I think this is a guy who has seen the individual achievements kind of rack up and he wants to win something significant. He wants to win 30 games. I mean, as if that's too much to ask, he hasn't won 30 games on a team in his NBA career so far. And I think LeBron was kind of the same thing. You know, he was piling up all the accolades, doing all these incredible things, winning a lot of basketball games, unlike Cousins, but he wasn't winning the big thing, the big thing that carried significance. And I think he kind of woke up and he realized – I have to get out of this situation because I'm not going to ever win anything significant if I stay here because that's going to just reward the mediocre product that the owner is surrounding me with. I think it's it's the same exact thing. And, and this isn't really a case that's really exclusive to Cousins and, and back with LeBron James. This happens in the NBA a lot. A, a player gets drafted who's very, very talented, and then he's just kind of stuck in a cycle of losing. And that's kind of the case with Cousins. It's been the case with a lot of players. And as a fan, you know, it's always something that's tough to watch because you hate to see talent being wasted, and unfortunately it happens many times. It's happening now, and it will happen again. But until we see it happen again, Again, Jersey Joe Archino here with the Sports Ball. You can follow me on Twitter at Joe Archino on Instagram, Jersey underscore Joe underscore Archino. And we'll see everybody next time.